Hello, friends. My name is Nanai, and I have a random screen open. Um, somebody at my work asked me what setup do I use because they'd like to start making YouTube videos. So I wanted to do a quick one rundown of just all the stuff that I use to put this video out. So we're going to start with my face cam. Hi. Um, we've got here the Razer Keo. That's I ordered mine on eBay, but um, yeah, this is the official site for it. It's pretty cool. We've got specs here. It's got um, a ring light here, which I can actually adjust to be brighter and darker, and I can move it pretty easily. And it's got a, a mount for me to actually put it on a um, tripod. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a bunch of pictures here for that. It's what the box looks like, and that's pretty much what it looks like mounted on my computer. And there's a little spot for it to have a... Uh, um, a tripod attached to it, and it's got a. Uh, it's f good FPS. It records in 1080p, as you can see. Um, it's good for streaming. It's got the ring light, which I'm actually going to turn up a little bit. Uh, it's compatible with OBS, which is what I use. Um, it has autofocus, which is the reason why I bought it because my old one didn't have autofocus. My old one is actually over here somewhere. Come here, you damn thing. That's not it. I just have dust on me. Oh, and it's got a uh, microphone. For those of you that watched my live stream, know that there's actually a microphone on it. It's right under the camera here. That way um, I could, you know, record. And then here's my uh, other camera that I was using. It's a uh, full HD 1080p. It's awesome. Uh, it's like... 20 bucks on eBay. And this was the one that I was using, this itty bitty thing. So it worked out pretty well, but I had to adjust this to focus all the time and it was just really annoying. And now I've got a better one. Uh, I think I paid about 60 for this camera. So yeah, if you want to get started, that's, that's what you need. Uh, next up on my list, we have my computer, which if it loads, um, Oh, this is, what? Stop. Okay, so this actually is not the computer I'm using. The one that I'm using is a Radon RX 560, but I couldn't find it on Best Buy anymore, so I'm showing you the next best thing, which is a 570. Um, it's, it's pretty decent. It's got a gigabyte of memory. Let me actually scroll down here so you can see. Uh, let's see, it's got a terabyte hard drive, it's got um, 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's got Radon 570 graphics, mine's got 560 obviously, uh, 2.0 USB ports, uh, yep, so all this, all this lovely stuff. Um, this one for some reason doesn't have a built-in CD and DVD drive, the one that I have does, it's actually just right there, um, and it's got some ports. Uh, like this one on the front, except mine, um, my CD drive is up here, and I've got my ports under it, which is actually where my headphones are plugged in. Um, I actually don't recommend buying this computer. Um, for some reason, uh, well, actually, it might just be mine. My 560 um, has issues with uh, freezing up, and honestly, it's just not a very hard-powered gaming computer. I... I actually recommend using my uh, boyfriend's computer and see it's a Ryzen 5. My boyfriend's computer, though, is this beautiful thing, an Intel Core i5, which you could have got a better one, but yeah. Uh, GeForce GTX 1060, got a 240-gigabyte uh, solid-state drive and 2-terabyte hard drive, so it's a bit of a beast. And you see it's got like a keyboard and mouse that comes with it. And this cool little remote here that actually changes the color inside. I'd show you, but I don't want to go over there right now. Um, it's got some cool specs to it, too. Uh, it's got an 8th gen i... Ooh. Uh, 8th gen Intel Core i5, uh, 8400 processor, 8400. It's also got 8 gigabytes of RAM, but it's got a higher level um, graphics card, so it's able to handle things a little bit better than mine. And it doesn't freeze like mine does. And, yeah, it's just got a bunch of random, random stuff. So, yeah. 
And this is actually what his looks like. His doesn't have a CD drive, just like it says. And there's the big ass box it comes in. So yeah, that that's my boyfriend's computer. That's the one that I use when I run stuff like Resident Evil that will not work on my computer because my computer doesn't like multitasking. So yeah. And then we got my monitor here. This is my monitor. This this cute little thing here. When I got mine, it was on sale for like forty bucks. So that's pretty cool. Um, normally it's like a hundred and nine. I think this is mine. Yeah. So yeah, just a little AOC twenty one inch. Uh, it's got a decent refresh rate on it. What was its refresh rate? Where did it go? Five milliseconds response time. Uh, it's got really good resolution. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm doing a video of my setup. Someone at work asked me for it. And then this is my uh, my boyfriend's monitor because whenever I use his computer, obviously I'm using his monitor. And his is this really pretty Acer 24.5 inch. It's it's ginormous. Um, scroll down here. It's got a one millisecond response time, which he plays a lot of League of Legends, so he needs that response time. It's got speakers built into it. Uh, it's got a really high dynamic contrast ratio. It's got all kinds of good stuff. And it's Energy Star certified, so saving the planet. Lovely. And then here's my headphones. I just got a nice little pair of Recon 50, uh, 50X headset and just a couple pictures of it, as you can see on my head right now. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so we're not going to really worry about that too much. It's, yeah. And then here's to the nitty gritty. We've got my software. Here's my editing software. We use Filmora 9. Um, there's You guys can actually go to the site and check out whatever you want. It It's... Um, 40 bucks a year, I think, to get the editing software, which is pretty cool. Uh, you guys have probably seen the commercials for it on YouTube. I actually used Fil the Wondershare Filmora, Filmora, holy crap, editing software before this, and then it updated to Filmora 9, and I updated to Filmora 9 with it. So, yeah. Um, it gives you a lot of free stuff that you can use for it, and you can buy more graphics if you want to, or you could just download your own from the internet. But yeah, it's got the ability to use a bunch of tracks and you can put a lot of stuff together and yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And then you can, this right here is where you can adjust the volume just in the thing and you can have different points for it to change the volume, which I didn't even know that before. So yeah, and yeah, so you can try it out for free or you can go buy it, whatever you want to do. I recommend trying it before you buy it because you may not like the same editing software I do. You might like something like a... Uh, so, uh, Sony, whatever, I don't know any other editing softwares. Or if you've got a cheap free one that comes with your computer, that's what I used when I first started out my YouTube channel in 2012 was the, um, oh, the Microsoft, uh, oh God, I can't even remember, whatever the Microsoft editing software was. And then we got my uh, screen recorder, this OBS studio here, it is free. And it is absolutely legit. Like, everybody is using it now. Uh, you can switch between stuff. Uh, it's got a bunch of different things you can look at here if you want. Um, yep. But I use it for my Twitch and my YouTube. I don't know what Mixer is. Let's go back up here. But, yeah, that's, that's this little box right here. Hello, me. Uh, infinite me. But, yeah, I, I can grab my stuff. I can move myself around. I can move my screen around. You can have it. I have it currently on lock. Here, let me show you. I have mine uh, snapped to the edge of the screen right now. And I actually have a video that I'm going to link right here. Um, this is a good place to start um, uh, putting your settings up for this. If you need some settings and you don't know how to work it, uh, this chick right here, Hazel Nutty Games, she does a bunch of uh, World of Warcraft stuff, if you can tell by her background. Uh, and she's a good place to start um, getting your settings for the recording software. I, I highly recommend her. Um, and then we got over here, last but not least, my um, no voice recording one software. Cares. Fuck you! <laughs> And this is my voice recording software. You can see it freaking out up here. And this is uh, what's currently recording my audio track. So if I were to go all the way over here to the end, brah. See, it's right there. 
that, that the noise I just made, it's right there. Yes, I'm recording right now. Yes, they can see my face. Do you want to see your face? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, this, uh, that's everything. And then I'll have a link for everything in the description. And I do believe that's it. And of course, we got Steam here and we got all kinds of lovely stuff. And whenever I need to take notes, like um, for all the stuff that I was doing, uh, this is all the links I'm going to be posting on my YouTube channel. Um, I have a little sticky note thing. Oh, hi. You can see my screen. Oh. But yeah, so that is my setup, guys. So yeah. Awesome. Oh, and the mouse and keyboard is just a cheap little mouse and keyboard I bought from a store. I think the, yeah, this keyboard came with it. I don't, you can't see that. This keyboard came with the computer. Uh, I had a mouse that came with it too, but somebody is rough with my mouse. So I had to go buy a new one. It's, it was going out anyways. I just like to tease her for it. Um, but yeah. That, that's all today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Whatever I Decide to Make. I'm going to do this right here. The internet setting out.